everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new a big welcome to you and I am so glad you're here so as many of you know I just gave birth to my second child about three weeks ago and we are steadily making our way through the newborn phases again um, and it's gotten me to thinking that I picked up a lot of great mom hacks and baby hacks over these past four years and I wanted to pass on some of those to you all so without further ado let's jump into it and talk about some newborn hacks this first hack is all about infant communication. So we're all aware of the more obvious ways that infants try to communicate with us. But did you know your baby will also give you more subtle cues to communicate what they need or want in any given moment? For instance, a baby making an ooh or an ah sound might be indicating that they are tired and are ready for a nap. Baby making grunting noises or an eh eh sound with an e at the beginning might be telling you that they have gas or that they need a burp. Short sneezes indicate that your baby may be overstimulated and need a more calming environment. Lastly, a child that's making a ne sound with an in at the beginning, um, one that is opening their mouth wide or turning their head from side to side, um, all might be indicating that they are hungry as this is all um, part of the rooting reflex that an infant has. As a general rule, if you are unsure of what your child is trying to communicate to you, offer a feed first. Babies eat a lot and this can help to curtail a lot of the more explosive crying fits. As many of you know, newborns are left with an umbilical stump where their umbilical cord attaches to their belly button. Applying a cord care powder to this umbilical stump can help it to dry up and fall off in a third of the time. When the stump does fall off, if your baby is left with any scab or residue in their belly button, you can easily clean it with a pad or q-tip soaked in witch hazel. This is gentle on their skin and it won't dry it out. While you're waiting for the stump to fall off, you can fold your newborn diapers down to accommodate it. Or simply cut a notch in your newborn diapers and fold down a little window for the umbilical cord. Continuing on with the diapering hacks, be sure to slide a clean diaper underneath the dirty one before you change your baby. This will help to keep your changing area cleaner and give you a quick flap to close if they decide to urinate during a change. If you have a baby boy, you may have noticed that they tend to pee pretty much as soon as you take their dirty diaper off. A good way to curtail this is to wipe their lower abdomen with a cool wipe before you take the diaper off. The cold sensation will encourage them to go in the diaper and not in the air on your face, your changing table, the wall, etc. Another great time saving tip is to layer your child's bedding in changing areas. So put down a changing cover and then like a changing pad or waterproof pad. Then put down another cover or sheet and then another changing pad or waterproof pad. That way if your child has an accident, you can just peel off the top layer and you're ready to go. This is great for the middle of the night as well because that's the worst time to be looking around for clean sheets and changing bedding. Another tip if you're new to diapering is to use the indicator line to determine if your baby's diaper is wet or not. If the diaper is dry, the indicator line that goes across the front of the diaper will be yellow, and if it is wet, it will turn blue. If your baby tends to get fussy on the changing table or tries to put their hands where they shouldn't, a good trick is to use their onesie to make a makeshift swaddle. This will help to soothe them and also keep their hands out of the area while you get it clean. If you want to avoid blowouts, make sure that the frills that go around your baby's legs are fully extended and smooth. And when your baby inevitably does have a blowout, remember to use the envelope folds on their onesie to pull it down around their shoulders and body and not up over their head. And don't worry too much about those gross poop stains that get on their blankets, swaddles, and clothes. Just wash the clothes normally and then set them in the sun to dry. Within an hour or so, the sun will completely bleach out the stains as if they were never even there at all. My next diapering hack is to set up a few diaper stations around your house. You can use a basket and put in some diapers, some wipes, some barrier cream, a change of clothes, and a changing pad. Keep this by your bedside or in your living room and it should save you some trips around the house when you need to change a diaper. And while we're on the subject of baskets, an activity basket can go a long way in entertaining your older kids while you're tending to the new baby. Be sure to include some fun books and some age-appropriate art projects. I really love these Melissa and Doug um, water painters and color magic um, coloring books for my daughter. She's four and a half and there's something that I can help with one-handed and something that can entertain her for a decent amount of time. 
You can also help older siblings to feel involved by giving them important jobs, such as bringing the baby blankets and diapers, helping with their changes, and also allowing them to hold and maybe even feed the baby so that they have a chance to bond as well. On the subject of feeding, be prepared because new babies eat a lot, like a shocking amount. It's good to remember as well that babies tend to have growth spurts at 3 weeks, 6 weeks, 3 months, and 6 months. And so around these times, expect your child to be eating even more than usual. If you notice your baby getting fussy after a feed, it could be that they're having some gas pains or stomach discomfort. So it's a good idea to master this basic massage to help them alleviate some of that pain. I'll put a link down below with full directions on how to do it. If you're breastfeeding and you have trouble remembering which side you fed on last, just use a hairband and switch it back and forth between your wrists as you switch sides. It's also a good idea to build a nursing station and set it up anywhere that you find yourself breastfeeding a lot. Be sure to include some great high calorie snacks, some hydrating fruits, and of course some water. If you're formula feeding, you can save a lot of time as well by making a formula station. Just pre-fill your bottles with the correct amount of water and then put them together with your formula and some clean burp rags and you'll be good to go. There's no hunting around or using one hand to measure stuff out. You'll have everything pretty much ready. If your baby is undergoing a day-night confusion, don't keep them up all day in hopes that they will sleep at night. This will invariably backfire. Instead, help them establish a circadian rhythm by leaving the windows open and the TV on, have noise going on in the daytime, and keeping your house dark and quiet at night. If your baby is fussy and fighting sleep, you might want to take a look at the clock. Newborns should not be kept awake for more than 45 minutes to an hour at a time. By putting them to sleep a little bit earlier in the hour, you can help to avoid some overstimulation. If you want to extend your child's night sleep and nap times, be sure to swaddle. If you have trouble mastering the classic swaddle um, with the blanket technique, you can also use a cheater swaddle and they work just as well, if not better. If your baby is fighting sleep or is being really fussy, a good idea is to take them outside. The simple change in environment can really help your child to calm down and settle into sleep. So now let's talk diaper bags. Contrary to popular belief, you don't have to have an expensive diaper bag. A well-appointed backpack works just as well. A great way to pack clothes in your diaper bag is to make the clothing burrito. So stack a pair of pants, a onesie, and a pair of socks like this, and then roll it up into a tight burrito and use the socks to cap off the ends. Then place this rolled up clothing burrito into a Ziploc bag and you have a place to put the soiled clothes whenever you're out and about and you also have a full change of clothes ready to go for your baby. And if you're ever out and find that your diaper bag is lacking in an essential like a diaper, a bottle, etc., you can always stop into a Target or Bye Bye Baby and ask customer service for one of their free baby bags. Usually these bags have enough stuff in it to get you over any kind of diapering emergency. Moving on to hygiene, if your little one is not a fan of bathing, then this hack is for you. Lightly swaddle your baby in a thin blanket before placing them in the bathtub and then pour some warm water over the blanket. This will create a warm, um, cocoon-like environment that will keep the baby calm and make bath time relaxing for both of you. And if you want to give your baby the ultimate spa experience, set up a heating pad underneath their towel so that after the bath they have a warm place to land and get a baby massage. If your baby has dry skin or cradle cap, it's a good idea to reach for some coconut oil and a soft bristled toothbrush. Simply dip the toothbrush in the coconut oil and lightly scrub the dry areas on the baby and you will be good as new. Another great dry skin remedy is olive oil. It's a lot less expensive than those fancy baby lotions and it truly is just one ingredient so you know you're putting something simple and safe on your baby's skin. Also keep in mind that a lot of common newborn complaints tend to occur when the sun is going down or at night time so it's a good idea to have some gripe water and some basic baby first aid items on hand so you don't have to run out in the night to get them when you need them. 
My last hack is to make life as easy as possible when your baby is small. Uh, one way that I do this is by using Amazon Fresh to have all my groceries delivered. Not only do they have all of the groceries and household items that you would find in your regular grocery store, um, but they also have full meal kits which you can pick um, that will come all together so it makes making dinner a whole lot easier. Um, I'm going to include a link down below for a free trial of Amazon Fresh. You can get unlimited grocery delivery. So be sure to give that a try. That about wraps it up for my newborn baby hacks. I hope that you found this video helpful. Um, if you have other hacks that you think will help other moms out or help me out, then please leave them in the comments below. I read all your comments and I'm always on the hunt for something that's going to make my life easier, as I'm sure you are as well. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Adios!